A very good evening. This is Abigail Karmalim bringing to you the news and events in Meghalaya from Don Bosco Media Network. Here are the headlines for today. Last right for me, it's Pilti performed at Domesyat Village. Guilty as charged, locals are littering. And Duan Singh's aim recognized as a great tribal chief of Himasora and intellectual of Khasi community. And now the news in detail. Today, the 31st October 2020, the body of a beloved May 8th Spilti Langrin Lingdo was finally laid to rest in Domyasyat village in the presence of her beloved family members, the villagers, members of different NGOs, along with friends and well-wishers. The last rite was performed by the Presbyterian Church of Wakaji. It may be reminded that May 8th Spilti Langrin Lingdo did not give up her fight against the uranium mining in the area until her last breath. So we are here to pay our last respect to our Wonder Woman, Kong Spiliti Lingdo Mangren. We just buried her after a service at her home. It was thundering and raining, but finally the clear, the clear blue skies came back and we were able to finish our last rites for her. So I'm grateful that we were able to come to pay our last respect um, with the members of the KSU and NESO and we hope that uh, we can strengthen uh, her family to never allow mining of uranium in this land for generations and generations to come. The sun sets in Domosiat. I just want to say goodbye to Grandma Spiliti Lingdo Langren as she leaves our planet and journeys up the stars. Thank you so much for fighting for the rights of the indigenous people and protecting your land from mining of uranium for the last 40 years. And I hope that your generations to come will do the same and new leaders will be born out of this land to protect our generation and other generations to come from exploitation of the most dangerous metal known on our planet Earth. Thank you so much, Grandmother. Journey well to the stars. This is Bremley Lingdo signing off from Domosiat. For years, it has always been thought that garbage seen strewn about in tourist spots came from indifferent or careless tourists who were least bothered by the trails of waste they left behind, but nothing can be farther from the truth. Well, it turns out that the locals are just as guilty of the crime of piling up garbage wherever they go. A case in point is the Shillong Sora Road and the tourist spots in Sora. In the foreground of the beautiful scenery of Sora, they did discarded packets, papers, bottles, cartons, plastic bags and whatnot sticking out like sore thumbs everywhere during the period of the lockdown and the closure of tourist spots in the state. It is a sad and pathetic state of affairs indeed. A people known for clean homes and yards, sparkling pots and pans and squeaky clean floors are equally just as bad when it comes to taking care of other people's homes and yards. A clear case of my garbage in your backyard. Coming to the rescue of the environment and the tourist spots in Sora is the Clean Sora campaign comprising the KSU, Sora Circle, the HYC, the Green Tech Foundation and the Matri Society under the leadership of Alan West. This is the first time for the Clean Sora campaign to be stepping in to clean up the Shillong Sora Road, 
beginning from Umtangal village. The campaign began with the distribution of pamphlets to drivers and passengers lying on the Shillong Sora road, exhorting them not to throw litter on the road. Mr. Alan West, talking to the media, said that this is just the beginning of the campaign to clean up the road, which will be followed by a meeting with village elders to introduce several laws and regulations to warn people against littering. Today evening at around 4.30 p.m., a fire broke out in Rilbong area for reasons unknown till reporting this news. Fortunately, no one was injured in the incident. Since the house was an old house, the fire was uncontrollable until the fire service team reached the spot. Yesterday at around 11.15 p.m., one truck fully loaded with peas bearing the registration number HR63C2150 on the way from La Grimbai to Gauhati capsized at Maubele near Renault showroom and hit one stranded truck of Damonmi e Chimpa. <laughs> The sun sets in Domosiat. I just want to say goodbye to Grandma Spiliti Lingdo Langren as she leaves our planet and journeys up the stars. Thank you so much for fighting for the rights of the indigenous people. Former ruler of Himasora in Meglais is Kasil's district. Duan Singh's aim was today recognized as great tribal chief of Himasora and intellectual of Kasi community. The conferment of title the great and intellectual on Duan Singh's aim, the then tribal chief of Himasora was adopted by the executive Dorbar of Himasora today, the 31st of October 2020, in the presence of incumbent tribal chief Freeman Singh's aim and Mintries amidst Kikoon Ki Hajar in a function held at the office of Himasora in Sora under strict observance of health protocol issued by the government. Speaking on the occasion, the speakers lauded the role of Duan Singh's aim, who did not join the tribal chief of Himanonglao in the arms upright against the British imperialism in Kasi Hills. The speakers also termed the signing of agreement between Duan Singh's aim of Himasora and David Scott as big political diplomacy that benefited the people of Himasora rather than taking up of arms against the mighty and powerful British Empire, which would bring untold suffering to his subjects or Kikun Ki Hajar. Speaking on the occasion, the Paim Freeman Singh's aim of Himasora lauded the role played by Duan Singh's aim for the welfare of his subject. Further, the former Meglai legislator Dr. P. W. Kongji termed Duan Singh's aim as a far-sighted and highly intellectual ruler who would use his intelligence for the benefit of his people. And the Sketri and Mintri of Himasora, B. B. Rumbai, informed that Duan Singh's aim, after weighing all the pros and cons in the fight against the Britishers, preferred not to engage into the futile fight against them but opted for an agreement. The Block Development Officer of Sora Civil Subdivision, Mukim, encouraged the authorities that the unpublished activities done by Duan Singh's aim should be published for the benefit of the present and future generation. Meglai legislator J. M. William Ngap, who represents Sora Assembly constituency, expressed appreciation to the authorities of Hima Sora for giving due recognition to the tribal chief of their land who had dedicated his life for the welfare of his subject. <laughs> Let us now have a glimpse of COVID-19 update for today.
So viewers, with that, we have come to the end of today's edition. Thank you for joining with us.